Hello dear students. Welcome to my channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. My name is Priya and in this channel, through this channel, we are going to cover quant section that is required for various competitive exams such as banking, staff selection, some posts in UPSC, MPSC, also management interest exams, GRE, SAT. So lots of competitive exams have this same quant section and all of them share the same syllabus which is based on mainly secondary school mathematics. So even secondary school students are going to benefit from this channel. Now I want to share with you one experience. I was uh, teaching in one of my classes. I used to teach for competitive exams. One student asked me, ma'am, I am going to appear for CMAT. I am I want to be a manager in a firm. Then why I need to know what is sine theta? Why I need to know what is total surface area of a cylinder? What is the difference between total surface and a curved surface? Why the hell I should know? He was so annoyed with that whole syllabus. Because what happened is, after he left school, he went to some other stream, say science, then something different. And then he totally forgot school maths. That happens with many of us. We totally forget school maths, all that algebra formulae, geometry formulae, trigonometry. We, we tend to forget everything. I'll share one experience of my own daughter. She doesn't like maths. Yeah, I'm a maths teacher and my daughter doesn't like maths. So, um, and she loves biology. And once uh, she completed her 10th standard and then her 12th standard, she decided to pursue biology or microbiology as her higher education and once she was back from her exam she tore a piece of paper on which she had written all maths formulae and she said to me finally maths is gone from my life and she was very happy and she stayed happy for few days later she understood in her experiments also she needed some amount of maths she had to calculate some proportions how much liquid is required for this experiment? How many cells grow in this square meter area? So again, she had to go back to maths. And then she decided to go to US for higher education. And so she had to appear for GRE, which had a complete section of maths in which she again had to study everything that she wanted to forget. But then there is no escape from maths. One has to study. So I decided that I'll make this YouTube channel so that all students can benefit from these videos and they can study in spare time. Because what happens when you are appearing for competitive exams, generally side by side, you are doing your own college course. Some are even working. So they hardly get any time during daytime. But in the night, that is after 9 or after 10, once your dinner is over and your mom is cool, then you start studying. At that time, these YouTube videos help you a lot. And one more benefit is that once you run this video, you can pause it in between. If you haven't understood certain part, you can rewind it, you can rerun it and then you can go on. You can stop whenever you want, you can take pause, you can fast forward, you can rewind. There are so many facilities. So in your spare time, you can study maths. There is one more thing I want to tell you. Now we are going to cover all topics. There is number system, there is time and work, there is trigonometry, there are 10 to 15 topics. But this every topics have their own fundamentals. So what I am going to do is, whenever I start any topic, I am going to clear all fundamentals first. But what will happen, some of you may find it very basic. Some fundamentals are very basic. You may think like that. But I need to take care of all my students and also school students who are watching these videos. So I am going to clear first all fundamentals. Even if you think they are very basic for you, what you can do is watch it once. Because what happens is every teacher gives you a new insight, a new input. And you may get something new that you didn't know, that you didn't know already or you have you are, or you had forgotten. So it's better that you watch a video at least once, every video at least once. 
and practice as much as possible practice and speed is very important for this exam or even for school students practice speed and accuracy these three criteria for any exam to get success in any exam are very important i'm very excited to begin our journey together are you so let's begin to solve maths in minutes with priya